Why are people still moving to Tampa, Florida and some looking to leave? It's overcrowded. The traffic's horrible. We're full. Go home. Go. That's about what it sounds like in the comment section here on YouTube and on our Instagram page. As a local, you could feel that Tampa has evolved from its old days, but it's not all bad. And Florida still has over a thousand people a day coming here. So I want to get to the bottom of this. I want to know what all the chatter is about. So I thought, let's bounce around to some of my favorite spots in the city and ask people on the street what they think about all the people moving to Tampa, Florida. How you doing? I'm shooting a video on Tampa. No? All right. Can I grab you for a second? Come on. Yeah. All right. Are you from here? I'm not from here. Where are you from? I'm from, I'm from Miami, but I live in Atlanta. We have over a thousand people moving to Florida a year and 150 a day moving to Tampa. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on that? Has it changed your version of Tampa? Well, I can say that we are more... Um, I mean, I... Phenomenal place to live, phenomenal place to grow up, uh, for your kids to grow up, to raise your kids, so many things to do. But the downside of it is... So, I've had family since then come for Thanksgiving, fall in love, and be like, oh, this is great. Yeah. We're leaving Miami, we're coming here. We're gonna start our day off right here at the Tampa River Walk. In back-to-back -back years, it was voted as one of the top river walks in the entire country and hands down has been the biggest game changer in the city of Tampa for as long as I can remember. It's two and a half miles long and it connects many of the city's attractions all while providing walkability and beautiful water views. Many locals along with visiting tourists share the river walk on a daily basis and I figured why not start here to find out what people really think about others moving to Tampa. All right, so we're shooting a video about folks moving to Tampa. Can I ask you a few questions? Sure. All right, so who do we have here today? Alton and Betty. Alton and Betty, my name's Adam. Um, do you currently live here? Yes. All right, and we're, uh, how long have you lived here? All my life. All your life, me too, that's, that's a rare, we're rare birds. We've been married 50 years. We are rare birds. Wow, congratulations. <laughs> Take you put that on our age. I, I'm only at 11, so I, I have a long way to go, but let me ask you this, in our comments, because we shoot these videos and put them on YouTube and Instagram, okay. people in the comments are always saying, Florida's full, leave, we don't need any more. Since you're a local, uh -huh. what are your thoughts on that? We have over a thousand people moving to Florida a year and 150 a day moving I to Tampa. Mm -hmm. What are your that's thoughts weird. on that? Has it changed your version of Tampa? Well, I can say that we are more, because of the growth, I see the growth. Yeah. And we're, we're, we're a lot more diverse than we used to be. You know, this is here, the Riverwalk is here, and I mean, apartments. And and sometimes I say, I wish people would stop coming because yeah. <laughs> it's driving prices up. You yes. know, for us natives, that's a little bit hard. But then again, I'm kind of fascinated to see places that used to be warehouses. Now it's Water Street, you know, yes. it's very upscale yeah. now. And uh, so I, I have mixed emotions, but 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 I do see the progress. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm I with you. I, I yeah. feel I love the old slow paced Tampa that nobody really knew about. It was right. our secret. Right. But yet it's like my wife and I were down at Water Street the other day and it was like we're in a new city. Yes. Yeah. So it was beautiful. And exactly. so I can appreciate that. And mm -hmm. we are always kind of used to sharing it with tourists anyway, right? right, yeah. right so, yeah. um, but it is getting busier, things yeah. are changing, but I, I appreciate your input, thank you. You're so welcome. All right. All, right. Okay. all right, so who do we have here today? Cheyenne. Cheyenne, um, we are shooting a video about all the people moving to Tampa, right? All the new developments, everything going on. So, um, do you currently live here? I do. All right, and where do you live? I live right across from the Strat Center. All right, so right down the Strat Center, right mm -hmm. off the River Walk. And where did you move from, or have you been here a long time? I've been here since July. I moved from Kansas City. Oh, okay, nice. So what brought you here? I go to grad school at U-Tampa. Okay, so... So just more opportunity, yeah. Was there something involved with Tampa as far as, you know, choosing Tampa? Or was it like school strictly? Um, it was school, but I've always wanted to move to Florida. It was always kind of in my plan. I thought it'd be later in life, but since I had the chance to move earlier, I just kind of took the opportunity. Uh, have you felt that it was welcoming with like, you know, folks, uh, other people that lived here? Yeah, when you moved here? I feel like it's super welcoming. I haven't had any problems with anyone, stuff like that. I feel like it also helps though. I feel like they don't like the Northerners, like the New York. I'm yeah. kind of an outlier being Kansas, Kansas City. Kansas City, I haven't right? I really met anyone from there, so. How's the barbecue here? Haven't had any, I don't want to be disappointed. All right, all right, I've got a place for you. But um, <laughs> what I would say is, is there anything that you've enjoyed about being here? And let's just say that you were done with school. Would you move back here? How, how's the experience been? You want to stay here? But yeah, my goal is to stay here for at least a few more years. I love the walkability. I love the weather. Well, there is a lot of good food, even though I haven't had barbecue. All right. But I do want to stay here, yeah. Fast forward post-grad school. Mm -hmm. How would you feel about all the other people moving here? Now that you would be a local. <laughs> um, 
I mean, I, I don't know. Do you feel like it's too busy or do you feel like, no, it's all right, we all kind of blend? When you're driving on 275, it feels too busy, but like when I'm just here walking around, I never think it's too busy. I like all the activities that get to go on because there's so many people here. Yeah, so, awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Caught up with Sim here on the Riverwalk. I uh, appreciate you, you know, answering some of these questions. We're talking about moving to Tampa and some of the good, some of the bad. You know, I asked him off camera where you're from and you said, where are you originally from? Daytona Beach. Daytona Beach. Now you yeah. moved to Tampa when? Around 1998, long Nin time ago. 98. So, you know, he, he's pretty much a local at this point. So I feel like he's a good, a good person to ask here that we, we call him the Riverwalk. So um, where do you currently live? Not address, but you know, neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, I'm in Western Chapel. Western Chapel, okay, yeah, yeah. that's awesome. So we have a lot of folks loving to go up there to the suburbs. What, uh, did you always live in Western Chapel or where did you start when you came in? I started off, uh, so 1998, USF area, um, some places around there. Okay. Kind of branched out and eventually ended up in uh, Western Chapel. In Western Chapel. What drew you to Western Chapel? Like now, obviously. Just, just, uh, I guess just age and maturing, just, uh, Family, some right, suburbia, families, suburbia, yeah. the typical thing. So. But yet we're finding you on the Riverwalk. So does, it, does that mean that you, you probably work here or whatever? But do you come in when you need to? Uh, for like work, weekends? For work. When I, on weekends, I come in here and uh, there. Yeah. Uh, now this is a <laughs> offset question, but since we're talking about Wesley Chapel, does it pretty much have everything you need as a suburb? Like, does it service you a lot or do you, do you have to leave to come into Tampa often? There is everything I need, but I like to see some of the attractions here. Okay. So, awesome. I, I'm me more so than my wife. Yeah. But, yeah. I get it, I get it. <laughs> now, as a local, we often share our attractions with tourists, right? Mm -hmm. And so, this video obviously is about all the people moving here and then sometimes why people are leaving. You know, they're leaving affordability and different reasons. But what is your feeling? Because you've been here long enough. How has Tampa changed for you, like from the old days to, to, to what you're seeing now? So, um, like we said earlier, um, yeah. came in 98, Tampa was very different. It had a more, I'll say a seedier kind of content to it. Or, yeah, or, under or, the radar. Uh, under the radar, seedier. Uh, USF was very different, you know, a lot more lower scale. Just everything in general was just lower scale. And as time progressed, you know, a lot of investments happened and things are starting to look a lot more like a, um, uh, our neighbor to the south. Cosmopolitan like, city. Uh, yeah, I'll say that, I'll yeah. say that. So. So, and I agree with that. We had a lot of mom and pop. Everything was kind of slow yes. paced Florida. Yes. And now it's like the speed's picking up a little bit. It is, right? it is. Do you think that's good or bad and why? I think it's, it's a little bit of both. I mean, uh, like we were saying earlier, there are some bad aspects to it. I hear a lot of my friends and locals complaining about the sudden boom. It was very yep. fast, it was very rapid and things increased very, very much. So I, I, can, I can understand that standpoint that it's a little bit negative, but on the same token, there's some good aspects to it. Like all the, the investments put in, I'm, I'm enjoying that. We are enjoying yeah. that you can enjoy that. So I, th I think there are pros and cons to both things. Absolutely, so we're riding the growth and I appreciate you sharing both sides of that coin with me. Thank right. you, man. Thank you. That's it. This is Water Street, the newest, hottest development to happen in downtown Tampa. My wife and I were down here on our date night the other night, and we felt like we were in another city. And I mean that in a good way. It was refreshing and lively. We absolutely loved it, but not everybody shares that same viewpoint. I recently shared on our podcast that there are new mixed use developments popping up all over Tampa, like Midtown, Armature Works, and a handful waiting to come out of permitting. Well, I think this is amazing. On the other side of that coin, you'll hear a few people moaning that it only creates more traffic and headaches for those that actually live here. Growth is never perfect and you can never please everyone. So let's get a few more opinions from folks on the street. All right, so we are now on Water Street. Caught these folks at the dog park here. So clearly they live here. But uh, who do we have with us today? Yeah, so my name's Callum. And Skylar. Skylar, all right. So where are you guys from? You have a little bit of an accent here, so. Yeah, so I'm from Birmingham in the UK, which is obviously quite far from here. Um, yeah, and we've just moved, so yeah. And I'm originally from New York. New York, all right, we've got a little bit of New York coming down here, just a little bit. It's the number one state of people migrating down here. So this video is all about people that are moving here. And then obviously asking some locals as well, is like, well, man, there's a ton of people moving here. What do you feel about that? Is it too crowded? You know, how is the housing all that? But when did you move here? Um, I moved here about three weeks ago. All right. And myself, it's been about just under two weeks now. So all right. very so, fresh. Very fresh newcomers, which I love. That's awesome. 
I'm very welcoming to everybody. I, I love sharing my city because uh, I was born and raised here. But let me ask you this. We're in Water Street now. Do you live close to here? Yeah, probably about, what, 10 minute walk from here? All right, so, so. in downtown and yeah. this is nice because you get to come here, bring the dogs, right? Yeah. So um, what do you love about this area? Why did you end up, and, and why did you choose downtown as the place to live out of all the areas? It's more a question for you. Yeah. yeah, well, in general, I love Florida because of the weather, especially coming from New York. Yeah. It's a good change. And then downtown, I just think it's very centralized. It's close to everything. You could walk really anywhere. A lot of nice restaurants. Yep, so walkability, um, restaurants. Yeah. Um, do you come out at night around here? Uh, yeah, we've been out a few times at night. There's some good bars, some good spots, and then obviously the river walk is really lovely. Yeah. So there's a lot of um, aspects, yeah. Now, did the did the weather, sorry, I'm gonna get to that. Yeah, no, I was just gonna <laughs> say, yeah, we, we, we do come out a lot downtown because there's always things going on. There's always people out drinking and stuff. Oh yeah. In a good way, like not like, in the UK is a kind of like a darker culture with drinking. Everyone gets wasted all the time. Unlike nights out, you probably wouldn't want to go for a walk on the streets late at night. Yeah. Whereas around here, it's like, yeah, you can go for a walk and you'll just see people having a good time. And obviously if you go to the college part, you're going to see that. Soho. Yeah, yeah, yeah but that's different. Or Ebor, so. the one. Yeah. yeah, this is my wife and I's our favorite spot yeah. to kind of crawl, you know, start here and just make our way in and out of the restaurants. Have you guys bumped into Ric Flair yet? No, I didn't know he lived there. So Ric Flair is always at the Pearl. Wow, okay. Always, like three nights a week, you'll see him there. He lives here. That's good. So time. kind of funny bumping in like a few little celebrities, especially wrestlers, are, they're yeah. kind of a yeah. Tampa's home for a lot of them. But um, so as far as what brought you to Tampa though, right? So you, downtown because of walkability, restaurants and things like that, what actually had you choose Tampa? Was it just the weather or was it a job or? Um, well, I love Florida in general. I've always wanted to live here, and I was between like Miami okay. and here, but I feel like it's a little more laid back here, which I like. Um, and yeah, I, I got a job at the Hard Rock. Oh, nice. So I'll be working there. Yep. It's a little yep. bit of both, yeah. It's a lot more businessy around here, isn't it? Yeah. There's a lot more opportunities in Tampa specifically. For example, like my mom, uh, my stepmom, she works for JP Morgan in London, yep. and she was trying to like you know get me in with their program and this JP Morgan thing in Tampa. So that obviously works out quite well. If I can pursue that, that's, that works for me. Obviously, being from the UK, they can sponsor a visa. That all works well. So, yeah, there's a lot more opportunities here, specifically in Tampa, over like Miami, because it's just yeah, a lot, a lot more flash and yeah, yeah, no, absolutely slower pace, a lot of walkability. Last question, because a lot of people don't understand this about downtown. When you go to like cities like this, a lot of people think downtown is kind of like could be a sketchy area. Who's not? What is your feel? Do you feel it's dangerous or crime or anything out there as far as your experience now? I know it's only a few weeks, yeah. but uh, anywhere in Tampa, have you felt it's maybe unsafe? Hands down, no. Awesome. Hands down, no. I love those answers. Thank you for sharing both of you. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah, man. It's awesome. All right. So just stopped you down here on Water yeah. Street. Saw you going by. I think you have groceries or whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for taking that time. Uh, what's your name first? Off? Garrett. Garrett. Adam, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, so uh, do you live here? I do. All right. Where specifically? Oh, just down Channel Side Drive. Just down Channel Side yeah. Drive. All right. And and are you from Tampa? Originally, I'm from Miami. I've been in Tampa about seven years. Okay, so seven years. How how long total? I guess in Florida. Forty six years. Forty six <laughs> years. All right. So, topic of this video is all the people that are moving to Tampa, and you know some of them are leaving too, right? Yeah. Uh, for different reasons. Sometimes it's affordability, things like that. So, um, being that you're down here in Water Street, the first question I have for you is about the development. Like, sure. Um, you've been here seven, eight years. This wasn't like it was no, even seven know. years yeah. ago. So, what's your first take there? I, I love the development. It's nice to come down and there, there's so many restaurants and obviously there's green wise here to go yeah. to real Walkability, quick. Walkability, yeah, you're yeah. walking with your groceries. Absolutely, yeah, I just walk everywhere now. I park the car on like Friday afternoon. I probably don't get in there until like Monday. Yeah. You know? so. Is that also why you chose to live like Channel Side area, Water Street area? <laughs> I didn't know where I was moving until probably two weeks prior to moving to Tampa. And I had a good buddy who told me, look, I know you pretty well. Yeah. I think you'll enjoy Channel Side. Okay. So anywhere in South Tampa, you'll be good, but you'll probably like Channel Side. So I ended up moving. This is to gonna Channel fit Side. you. Yeah, on like a six month lease, and I was like, oh man. And I've been here seven, eight years, and I've moved t three times, and it all within like three walk radius. So, so, so this is your spot. I, yes. He he nailed it for you. Yeah, so he did. He tell did. your buddy thanks. But, yeah. um, you know with the video yeah some people in the comments they're typing in like florida's full you know those kind of things or affordability yeah. what's your take on that you've been here long enough in florida yeah because there's like 250,000 people moving there a year right yeah. um our population i think went up by two percent in the last year which is crazy 
What do you think of that? Are you, where do you sit on that? I, I am partial to that. I okay. kind of like agree. Like I know that a lot of this stuff wouldn't be here without that. Sure. So I get that, but I do like, like I said, I grew up in Miami and I watched what happened to the city that I love kind of yeah. just, I mean, there's just explode. So, yeah, it exploded and they yeah. didn't really put any caps on like what they were building, where they were building, how they could build, how they could move in and out. Like, and it just got to be too much, too fast. Yeah. Traffic and affordability and, and just kind of everything just, in my opinion, it wasn't as nice as, as what I had remembered growing up. Yeah. So. Sure. I hope that doesn't happen here. I think they're a little bit smarter about how they're building. Yeah, I think they're being strategic. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Yeah. So. There, I mean, we still have to have growth and we still have to have some of these new developments. Yeah, um, totally. But it's nice to be able to walk down Bayshore 100%. and know that like, that's not going to be a strip mall or, you know, 50 story condos. Keeping some of those historic in the next areas. 10 years. Yeah. 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 Now yeah. I will say this development wise, we've got the YMCA in the Heights that's yeah. being redeveloped. Britain Plaza, yeah, you know where that is in yeah. South Tampa, that's in works. Guitar stores there. Some people, yeah, <laughs> some people like it, some people don't. For me, I love that we're getting little pockets like Midtown or Water Street yeah. or these areas because it's giving us little pockets of walkability yeah. that we've never had. This was always a ghost town. So um, if you had to do it again, would you choose this area and would you choose Tampa as a place to move from Miami? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I, I would choose Tampa. I would choose this area. Um, since I moved up, I would always host like a Thanksgiving. So I've had family since then come for Thanksgiving, fall in love and be like, oh, this is great. Like, yeah. We're leaving Miami, we're coming here. So- But you don't want yeah. them moving here. <laughs> well, they did, they did. So two or three, that's okay. okay. You know, my, my the masses, but yeah, no, yeah. I would I would do the same thing. Yeah. Um, you've been here seven years and I know we're about to get the trolley behind us, so it might get loud. Yeah. Um, seven or eight years, have you seen the cost of living drastically go up uh, in Tampa? Not like I saw it in Miami, you know? Okay. I, I so mean, other yeah, cities make obviously it, a more. it has, yeah. but nothing crazy. Like, I think the, the most sticker shock I have is my insurance. Yes. And I think that that's a good one to bring throughout up. the yeah. state. Like, I think I, you would know better than I do, but I, I think that I could live in Gainesville or, or Ocala or something. Yeah. My insurance will probably go up, uh, maybe. I, yeah, I, a lot of it that know. I'm seeing is on these older houses versus newer houses. Cause I live in a, I live in a 1970s home in the city. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm feeling that. What I will say is we had a little bit of relief this year because yeah. it kind of peaked. And now I actually have a couple new uh, new insurance companies that okay. came on back. And so I actually dropped about 20% on my uh, insurance oh, my. this past year. So hopefully we start to see that come out in the news and, and other people. Okay, but, yeah, uh, cause I renew in, in in a matter of months, so okay. hopefully maybe. La know, last question, because I got you here, I got yeah. you here. This is Entertainment Central, right? Yeah. It's awesome, you're loving it. Um, have you ever felt in anywhere in Tampa, and I'm sure that there's pockets if you find them, but what is your thoughts on crime or feeling safe? I, I've i never felt unsafe, you know? Okay. I mean, I don't do too much. That would you're not looking probably, for too much I, trouble. I would, yeah, put myself in a yeah. situation, but I've, I used to stay out pretty late yeah. and I never felt bad walking home from downtown or yeah. walking around Channel Side. Like, you know, yeah. never, never been an issue for me. All right. Not so, that would. So, <laughs> and then last thing, just could put, put a ball on this yeah. for me. All the people moving here. Yeah. They're still coming. Yeah, they're going to come. Yeah. Are we going to be welcoming? I, I try to be, you know, it may not be <laughs> my favorite thing in the world, but yeah, they're all good people. You know, they all want the same. We all want the same. Thing. Absolutely. We want to live in a nice, safe, fun, affordable-ish yeah. uh, city. You well, know? good news for you. I, I just did research on it. And so far, 2024, they are predicting that uh, they're still coming, but it's slowing down at a much slower pace. Good. So, so hopefully we're just gonna have an even keel and, and I appreciate your time, man. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I did a little more digging and I got the scoop on Florida's migration dance. Everyone seems to be moving to Tampa amongst other Florida cities, welcoming a net 250,000 new faces recently. The Florida Chamber is eyeing another bumper year despite a slight dip in economic growth, but here's a twist. While more folks are arriving than leaving, the gap is closing because the cost of living isn't as sweet as it used to be. People initially flocked from high cost states like New York and Illinois, searching for that sunny, affordable dream. But now with the prices creeping up from that old affordable living that Florida once was known for, 
Some are starting to look towards places like Georgia, North Carolina, and Tennessee drawn by lower costs or no income tax perks. Despite this shuffle, Florida's still on track for growth, just maybe a bit more measured. That being stated, it's still a bit harder to find people that plain out just want to leave because let's face it, it's pretty sweet living here. All right, so we got Tony here, uh, long time Tampa local native, well, Almost native. Almost native. We've been here more than 50 years. Or that's right. That's pretty right. much close to us. So tell us a little bit about your background, because I do want to get a local's take on this situation. I did grow up here. I, know I grew up in Tampa. I went to school in Tampa. Family's in Tampa. got grandkids in Tampa now. It's, it's a beautiful place. Um, I worked for the government for 35 and a half years. 25 of those years, I was a community resources guy, the community relations guy. Okay. I, I dealt with that, mostly the Hispanic community, but I've dealt with all of the community actually yep and so i came to a local you know cafe here in west tampa because i wanted to get the take from some of these locals here you know we were on the street earlier and we heard from different people that we caught on the river walk just saying hey what do you think about all these people that are moving here you know to florida and specifically to tampa in our comment section we get you know things like florida's full and you know it's overcrowded in the yeah. traffic so help me understand you've been here so long and you've seen the different progressions and and uh Tampa evolving as a city. For sure. Fast seen, forward in today, what do you kind of feel from that that's different or good and bad too? Yeah, I've seen neighborhoods where it used to be orange groves. I've seen neighborhoods where it used to be cow pastures. Yeah. You know, along with the people come the traffic, come the problems. Tampa's a great place. We could talk all day about the benefits of living in this Tampa Bay area. Sure. Phenomenal place to live, phenomenal place to grow up, uh, for your kids to grow up, raise your kids, so many things to do. But the downside of it is when you have so many people, these roads are not designed for so many people sometimes. Right. You always people. see construction or a crane there's or something. There's construction, there's potholes, um, there's traffic. Traffic nowadays, you get on the interstate you know, at night, all you see is a sea of red lights. Yeah. And that's how you get around. Yeah. You know, they have the Crosstown, they have the, Sel the Selman, uh, the Selman Crosstown, they've got the, the veterans. Yeah. Those things are outdated. Yeah. So yeah. that's why people say, you know what? Nah, I want the country life. Yeah. Used to be you'd leave from here and then move up Castle County, you were kind of in the country. Right. There was nothing out there but a Waffle House, right? Exactly. So now you're starting so you're starting to see some people kind of move away from the city a little bit? Oh yeah, I can give you an example. Here where we're filming this today. Okay. We are in the city. Yeah, we are. We're in West, good old West Tampa. That's right. Houses used to go here probably ten years ago, you could have bought a house for eighty thousand. Yeah. That same house now goes four hundred, four hundred fifty thousand. Yep. Am I right? You're yeah, no, you're right, you're right. And yeah. the house hasn't changed. No. The same house. Yep. Just location now. Exactly. For, For those that live, live here, city. this is a great place to live. It's central to a lot of things. You'll see a lot of new home construction here as well. But with the downside is that you have more traffic. You have more people. Yep. More people, more traffic, sometimes more crime. Yeah. You know? Um, yeah. Now, do you ever, I know when people are listening and they're watching, they hear crime. Do you feel that it's unsafe? Uh, as safe as any other city, I guess. In There's a lot of cities out there. Yeah. But Are you talking is, Chicago safe? You no, know, <laughs> I'm talking about cities about the same size, the same okay. uh, composition. Uh, there's crime. Yeah, not a there's doubt. no there's question. Crime. Yeah. And I'm a strong proponent of certain things that, you know, deter that kind of crime. Let's put it that way. It's keeping friendly. <laughs> but, you know, you just have to be, be yourself. All right. Now, let me ask you this. So one of those comments are, Florida's closed, right? And I, I know that one can go either way. Personally, I've said it, we've heard it today. I love old Tampa and I love that it's, it was our hidden secret, but it's not a secret anymore and no we longer. can't control it. It's in the spotlight. The Super Bowl's changed that, I think. And we've had multiple, right? Exactly. So how do you feel about newcomers coming in, keeping in mind that our city is, you know, expanding. We've got new developments, new attractions, new experiences for us right. locals. What do you feel about that? It wouldn't that? be the city if it wasn't for the newcomers. I remember when downtown Tampa was as dead as ghost town, as dead as Tombstone. You know? Yeah, it was a, a ghost town. Exactly. At five, I used to work downtown at five o'clock. Eh, six o'clock ago, there would be nobody on the streets. And you go today, it's very alive. Yeah. You know, yeah. Water Street. You got downtown. You got Madison. You got all these streets downtown that are full of life now. You have people living downtown. That was the plan. They wanted that urban core, and they're building it. Yeah. 
if it wasn't for the newcomers, that wouldn't be. Yeah. So let me ask you, are you still living in the city or did you uh, hightail it? Yeah. No, I live here in West Tampa. I do have my own little secluded place that I go to. Every That's time. right. I Just get, get away. away. Up in Georgia. But Great no, state of Georgia. But no matter what, from what I hear. I'm not leaving. You're not leaving. Nah, I got my anchor here. You still love your city. I love Tampa. You. You have a little bit of extra traffic, but you still have your secret hole in the walls, like where we are today, exactly. right? It's and a beautiful so, place. And so, are locals, are you finding locals welcoming still to others? <laughs> and, and It's a mixed bag, you and, know? And knowing that at some point, majority of people were kind of a rarity, but at some point, most it's, of our friends and family probably came from somewhere else too, of right? Of course, of course. Yeah. You know, uh, it's like not in my backyard. Everybody yeah. wants a jail. Everybody wants this and that. You know, they want a hospital. Not in my backyard. You know, they don't want it in their neighborhood. Right, you know? right. Same thing with local. Okay, you can come to Florida, but not yeah. in my neighborhood. So come here, but play by the rules, right? Exactly. All right. Thank you, brother. All right. So I got Ronnie, another longtime Tampa, uh, Tampanian, here with us today. And, and, you know, Ronnie, I keep getting in the comments, a lot of people saying, Florida's packed, traffic, affordability, all these different things. You know, one, I want to understand, what do you think as a longtime Tampa, like, all the people coming here, uh, is it welcoming? You know, do we send them back? What do we do with all this situation? Yeah, you know, Adam, long time resident here, born and raised, yeah. went to law school here, never left. So I know the value of living in Tampa. It's welcoming to this nation in that there are areas that I grew up in that are, um, Areas that you would not expect to have the growth that it that it does. Sure. But all of a sudden, because it's inner city and stuff, it's beautiful. Yeah. West Tampa, Wellswood, South Tampa. Look at South Tampa. You can't even talk about it anymore. I live in South Tampa, but I mean, people talk about going to South Tampa and the and the value of the house sure. goes up. Um, at the same time, I know that the growth has been in Pasco County. Yeah. Um, with you know the new houses and stuff. a lot of people leaving the city. We just talked about that with Tony. Yeah, yeah I think it's just a matter of. What do you value more? Do you value being, you know, close to where everything's happening in downtown Tampa and stuff? Or do you want to move out to the, that suburb um, that's going to wind up providing you with maybe more house for the value, but you're away from most things? So um, I, I think that you're absolutely right. It is occurring a lot of traffic in here. Yep. Uh, but, you know, the bottom line is it's like that all over the country. The yeah. traffic is the traffic. It is what it is. Yeah. You know, what's funny is, is I tell that people all the time. Yes, we have traffic in it, but it depends on where you come from. If you come from Mobile, Alabama, it's going to feel like traffic. Right. You come from a big city like a Chicago, New York, it's going to be like, it's, this is not nothing. Because we can still, even though there's a lot of red lights, which I think is where the traffic feel comes from. Right. Right. And our, and our entire city is residential. We pretty much live on a grid, right, in the city. Yeah. Um, you know, going from place to place still takes 15, 20 minutes. I don't, it doesn't take you 50 minutes to get from South Tampa to West Tampa. Right. 20. 20, yeah, right? Right. So, and, and usually there's traffic patterns here, right? Around school time, school letting out in the morning, or school going in, letting out. I, I think you're right, though. I think that uh, what I've seen as far as backing up traffic has been a lot of um, the light sequence. Yes. Um, you know, how they're, how they're uh, timing that. Yeah. Um, I think you're right that, you know, some of these kids that are buying out in North Tampa say it takes 12 minutes to get to downtown Tampa. There's no way, There's no way. No. that that's happening. No, no. Uh, but at the same time, you know, I live in South Tampa. I come to West Tampa every morning because my office is here, plus the coffee shop's here. Yeah. And I will tell you, it probably takes me, and I come early, probably takes at the most, at the most, 15 minutes. Yeah. Um, so, you know, the, the traffic is what it is, but it's, it's mainly the traffic lights that are doing it for you. It's not the distance. It's not, I don't get on the interstate all that much anymore. Yeah. But, you know, I know that if you go through downtown Tampa at two o'clock in the afternoon, you're probably going to wind up hitting some back, you know, backlog. Uh, absolutely. So you know, I tell people that going to the beach, go in the morning, come up. It's going to bottlenose yeah. or bottleneck. Um, now, one of the questions you kind of tapped on the cafe, right? Where we're sitting right now, right? Earlier, I talked to a bunch of people. I was on the Riverwalk. I was down at Water Street talking to them about the new developments that Tampa has. What do you think about these new developments? And, and I'm saying that, I'm asking that because I love that we see these new things pop yeah. up. It's new attractions, new experiences yeah. for us, even though it attracts new people. But I love that we kind of hold on to these cafes special gems for you, right? Well, yeah. You know, the, the, the key is like, you know, you look at the University of Tampa and that area and how it's grown and, you know, developed and stuff. And you've got some of these new little 
uh, cafes and, and little restaurants that yeah. are, you know, modern and, you know, doing different types of cuisines. That's great. And, and I'd like to go see them. But there's no, there's no substitute for those um, old style, um, back to the root yeah. type uh, uh, cafes. This being one of them. Yeah. Um, you know, it, 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 to get along, you know what, what, what's great about Tampa, Adam, because you've experienced this. Yeah. What's great about Tampa is the guys that grew up here stay here yeah. and they hang out with each other. I go to, I come it's here. A place to gather like this. I come, to, I come to breakfast every morning, coffee every morning with guys that are doctors, lawyers, Indians and chiefs, plumbers, electricians, guys I grew up with, maybe didn't hang out with every Play day. Play ball with or whatever. Every day yeah. I have coffee with them every day. And the yeah. difference is, is that we never forget that. The, the similarity is this, the way we were raised, the family values and stuff. So that's what I love about Tampa. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We hold on to some of those traditions yet. Some of the, the, the shiny bright spots of the city's growth is we get new attractions sure, to play yeah. in. And so we get these cafes and then we get some of those Michelin star restaurants that we're getting. So it's okay to go visit those for, for uh, lunch yeah. every once in a while. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. That's perfect. Now, I thought it was sort of neat to see where everyone was from and how diverse it is here. There were people from all over and it starts to paint the picture that not everyone is born and raised here like myself. Tons of people are from somewhere else. Some recently moved here or they were transplanted years ago. And while we did see both sides of that coin, the overwhelming majority told us today that while it is getting a bit busier and yes, things were pricier than they ever used to be, they love it here and the people are welcoming to newcomers like you watching right now. So if you're thinking of making the move and wanna buy or sell a house in Tampa, Florida, my team and I would love to help you and your family find that next home. So make sure to reach out to us. Our info is right there on the screen. Until that next video, I'll catch you later.